this is my pond it's a quarter acre pond and for the last two years that we've been out here um, the summer algae bloom has just been horrendous and then I think that's called duckweed it takes over um, so in an effort to try to combat some of that and to kind of stir up the water and maybe help improve some of the water clarity as you can see it's just murky um, I got a right out there in the middle I got a aerator going uh, it's just a single aerator diffuser and I built this pump housing I uh, just finished putting it in the ground um, the concrete pad that it's on is was eight bags of 80 pound concrete mix and uh, that's why the the top is kind of dirty there uh, just working with the concrete got it kind of dirty I need to clean it off or just let the rain I was gonna let the rain clean it off for me pretty heavy duty I wanted to make it so that if my cows were to rub up against it that it wouldn't just uh, fall apart or come out of the ground so I'm gonna open it up and kind of show you what I have going on in here I'll put this uh, screw just to kind of keep the cows from Try and open the lid if they get to rubbing on it. I couldn't really find a box that I was happy that would be, a, or rather that I was confident that would be able to withstand a cow rubbing on it. So I just, I wanted to make my own. So the lid just comes up. And uh, I had this kind of insulation laying around and I thought it probably would help keep the summer heat off the inside of the pump here but uh, I ran power to it uh, the pumps just kind of sitting on the concrete slab there um, it's she's warm um, and then I've got the air hose portion going down into the concrete slab and then out uh, out into the pond there and I put the insulation kind of all around the outside edges as for the air intake this lid doesn't close a hundred percent and as you saw my welds they're not a hundred percent airtight so I, I think between that it's it's uh, able to get enough air for the intake the intake of the pump is, is here just remove this and then there's a little filter and and then it's just the pump I am a little concerned that the, the thing is pretty warm. Um, I'm going to leave the lid open and see if that has any effect. I put four carriage bolts uh, to anchor it down into the into the concrete on each each or two on each end. So that way, if a cow gets to rubbing on it or pushing on this box, it'll keep it from coming out of the concrete slab. So eight bags of 80 pound concrete. That's 600. And 40 pounds of concrete that it's it's in the ground and then just the pressure of the ground around it I think it's definitely going to withstand any any animal pushing on it so it's a pretty quiet little pump uh, it, it is a touch warm um, I'm going to monitor that I, I read that for larger ponds you might need to put two diffusers uh, this is a this is a uh, the, the number on it was an 80. Maybe I can show you here. ET80. Model ET80. Blue Diamond. Air pump. And it just runs all the time. So hopefully it'll help improve, improve the water quality. And help get rid of some of that algae. And make it a little bit better habitat both for fish as well as drinking supply for my cows and this is the uh, trench that I dug it's about 200 feet and it goes into my shop uh, uh, I ran conduit all the way down there and uh, I just dug it with the bucket of my tractor I didn't feel that it needed to be very deep in the ground just um, this is my property and I know where the line is so if I you know, need to do any digging or anything, I'll just remember where this is at. 
going to be good to have this on video. <laughs> um, and I, I messed up a little bit when I was backfilling the, uh, the conduit. It kind of pulled away from me a little bit and cracked this housing. But uh, if it actually breaks fully apart and exposes a wire, then I can uh, cut it off and you know reroute the wire. So that, that's not going to be a big issue. Uh, it's working, so I'm going to leave it alone. So there's a look at my pond aerator box and the aeration happening. I'll follow up in a month or two, see how it's going. This is another item that I purchased for the pond. I estimate that my quarter acre pond is at about 400,000 gallons of water. Uh, this year says that it treats up to 500,000 gallons. They recommend that you replace this ball once every 30 days. So what this is, is a ball that sinks down to the bottom of the pond and inside is a uh, like microbes that help break down the sludge and help clarify the water. Uh, the ball itself is biodegradable so over time it will decompose at the bottom of the pond and it will no longer exist. So I'm going to see what this does over a period of 30 days uh, alongside the aeration that I'm doing. Uh, if it looks to be effective then I'll purchase more. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes. I'm going to look inside here. And here is the ball. Okay I'm out here the next day. Uh, yesterday I noticed that the temperature of the aerator seemed to be a bit hot. It was running at about, um, the surface of it was 127 degrees and it just felt very warm to the touch. So what I did is I came out here and I drilled some holes right there in the side. It's kind of more air vintage, air ventilation. Uh, I want to check the temperature now after a day of running like that and see if it, it has improved any or not. I thought that the air would be plenty coming in from the top up there. I don't know if you can see, but um, I thought that that would provide sufficient air to do that big gap there. But let's see what the temperature is today. I'll point it on there. Yeah, see, she's still pretty warm, 130. So I think I need more ventilation, probably also maybe more uh, diffusers. So it's 130-ish right now at the top. You can see where I'm pointing it. So I'm going to see if that temperature comes down now that I got the lid off of it. That would be a big indicator. You can also see that I took some of the insulation off that corner there. I'm going to go ahead and drill some more holes. I know it's necessary to ventilate it more now. Yeah, you can see it's already starting to come down just in that few seconds that it's that I've had that lid open. I have a bit of an audience here. Hey, sweetie. Hey, girl. Well, I'm going to test the temperature again. So it's uh, 132, 133. So maybe it's not overheating inside the box. I went ahead and drilled some more holes just to make sure it's got plenty of ventilation uh, but I can't imagine it's not a ventilation issue it's either one of two things either I need to add another diffuser out there on the pond so a second unit out there to allow the, the air to blow or that's just simply how these machines uh, run a little bit warm so it's been sitting there with it open for at least 10 minutes now and it's still just as hot as it was when I when I came out to check it yeah so with that being said I'm not going to drill any more holes or really worry too much more about the heat of the unit unless it just gives out at which time I'll know the the solution to that would be to add a secondary diffuser meanwhile here's the <coughs> The uh, 
microbial ball that I purchased. Maybe it'll help clarify some of the water that these cows are drinking and make it look make it look a little nicer out here. So I'm gonna throw this out there, kind of close to the where the diffuser is. Uh, I didn't do too good. <laughs> so it's floating now. I'm kind of expected that it would sink. We'll see what happens. Interesting. I was under the impression that it would sink immediately. Uh, that would be kind of a bad thing if on a windy day you threw it out there and then it just made it back out to, right to your shore. And it looks like it's going down now. And it is sunk. Okay, so good enough. We'll see how that does in the next bit. Here we are at day two and it is just as murky as ever. Well, it's been about one month since I installed this pond aerator pump. Wanted to do an update and kind of show the condition of the pond now. Um, you might see out there I've got two aerators going now. So since I last did an update, I noticed that the pump felt like it was getting a little bit warm. And the uh, first thing I tried was drilling some holes there in the side to give it a little bit more air. Let me get this unscrewed and I'll kind of show what else I've done. Okay, so I, I bought this computer fan. I got it on Amazon for, uh, I think around $12. And it's just a uh, regular wall outlet plug. Uh, so I <clears throat> was able to plug it into regular power it draws air from the, the holes that I drilled on the side here and now the pump is staying much cooler I mean it's, it's still warm and I think it's always going to be warm but I think between constant air flow being brought into the pump it's not having to suck the air in as much the unit's staying much cooler it's been a hot day today and it's it feels yeah probably around maybe 100 degrees uh, which I find acceptable 130 just seemed like it was a bit warm so that's an update a one month update from what I've seen these pond aerators they take a couple months to really get the the algae and the water clarity cleaned up another thing I did I didn't get a whole lot of video for um, was I stocked this pond this is just a quarter acre pond and I stocked it with uh, 150 channel cat 100 red ear sunfish and a, about five pounds worth of um, fathead minnows Just trying to build a bit of an ecosystem uh, now that I've got uh, the aeration going on and uh, I just threw out some fish food I don't know if you can see it on the surface of the water so and they're, they're starting to nibble on it they're starting to get a get used to me throwing this out every other day so that's the one month pond pond area pump update I'll update another uh, in another month see how it's going
Well, the water quality is improving every day. I know it may not look like it on video, but uh, I'm able to see down into the water a bit further than before. Um, it's like from here I can see, uh, I don't know, maybe six, six inches to a foot down, uh, which is a significant improvement compared to when the aeration started. Uh, these are real tiny fish and I think everywhere you see the surfaces of wa surface of the water pop those are little fish hitting those uh, feed pellets that is throughout it could be air bubbles but uh, it looks more to me like it's the tiny fish especially that little hit right over there just now uh, there's a little bit of uh, algae still along the shoreline and then there's some of that grass in a few places I have a permit to buy some grass carp but I'm kind of holding off on that I want to see what the aeration does first uh, this has been about a month and a half of running this that was a good hit right over there uh, we, we do have a number of turtles in the pond I don't know if it's picking up on video, but there's a, a stick right over there. And there's a turtle sitting on top of it. I've chosen to leave the turtles alone and let them uh, have uh, some of the feed that I'm throwing out as well. Because turtles primarily eat carrion, and that's their actual benefit to this pond, so that dead fish and uh, other dead animals will be taken care of by the turtles rather than just decaying and rotting inside the pond and causing uh, some potential biological issues with the healthy fish and any healthy fish that are in this pond should have no problem swimming away from a fish uh, from a turtle that may want to try to take a bite of it so turtles in the pond from what I understand and what I've chosen to do are a benefit to a pond There's a little turtle poking his head up over there. I hope in uh, a number of months and maybe a year or two from now I'll be able to throw out the feed and the catfish and other fish that I have in this pond will just attack the feed and I know it's a uh, it'll be an ongoing thing where I need to be consistent with the feed and train them to get them used to me and used to the feed and it probably doesn't help that I'm talking right now but they do seem to still be hitting it I'm seeing quite a bit of movement on the surface of the water I wish the water clarity was just a little bit clearer and then I could see the actual fish moving around in the water but other than the turtles that poke their heads up above the surface, I'm not quite seeing any fish swimming around.